Hi, my name is Barry Benjamin. This is Sustainable Life. What are city governments doing to be sustainable? We're here at City Hall of West Palm Beach to find out. Penny, what do you do today that's sustainable in your life? Well, I have been very conscious about conservation for a long time, starting out with my father, who was very um, tied to the land, and that was just part of how I grew up. I have been a educator, an environmental educator, for many years at Grassy Waters Preserve and run that uh, program. And then I do the little things like uh, make sure that the shower's not running too long and uh, make sure there are no leaks in my house and use Energy Star products. I actually just bought a hybrid, so I can really be sure to practice what I'm preaching. We're here at uh, City Hall of West Palm Beach. So why are you down here? What do you do down here that's sustainable? Well, I am the Office of Sustainability Manager. And this is a new position, relatively new, a uh, little more than a year, that our mayor created to help turn this government into a, a sustainable future, to help move the city of West Palm to a sustainable future for the citizens, that, the people that work, live, or play. And of course, we're looking out for next generation, next generation, and the next generation. Penny, what are some of the events that people can participate in? Well, we have a very important event coming up, our E4 Summit. And it's the second one that the city has had. This is a way to get information out to the public, um, to promote sustainable practices, saving energy, saving water, and um, we're going to be making things available, energy kits, water conservation kits for the participants. We did this last year and used it as a way to get information from our stakeholders so that we can develop our sustainability plan. We also um, have a new building that is on the waterfront, our Green Pavilion. It's our first LEED certified building for the city of West Palm Beach and we're very proud of it. We'll be doing educational programs in that building and we also like to show off some of our other buildings. City Hall at, and our library at City Center have many, many conservation technologies built into them. That sounds wonderful. Uh, I also heard about a Green Resource Center. Well, that is a nonprofit that's going to be coming to the city. Uh, the Green Energy Council will be having the first Green Resource Center in the country here in West Palm Beach. And they're developing not just uh, educational opportunities there, but they're going to be like uh, a place where uh, entrepreneurs and businesses can start too, right? Yes, they're wanting to have some green tech incubators throughout the city and we're all for that. Green jobs and and more opportunities for our residents. Um, the Green Resource Center is going to have space there for different green tech businesses to show off and sell their wares. I also have attended uh, what's called the Green Task Force. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the City Green Task Force was uh, created about two years ago, and it's made up of concerned individuals that are trying to give the city input on what's important in their, it, from their perspective, of sustainable practices. Is it transportation? Is it building? Um, water conservation? We want to hear from our stakeholders to, to see what we can do to make a positive impact. We're really talking about increasing, improving the quality of life because ultimately that's what it's all about. If we're taking care of our natural resources, thinking about next generations, planning for the future, 
isn't everybody going to be happier? I think so. Uh, so anybody can come to these meetings? Yes, um, they're open to the public and we're actually beginning to work on a report that the task force will be giving to the mayor. So we're congealing all of these great recommendations and then we're going to utilize that along with other recommendations to create the city's climate action plan. What do you know about uh, uh, climate change? Well, I know that we're seeing some things change all around the country, around the world, and water is a huge component of that for South Florida. The water uh, availability of water and also sea level rise.